So we've just found out what the 3v6 matchup will be in the Eastern Conference first round. It will be the reigning champion Milwaukee Bucks versus arguably the most improved team this year in the Chicago Bulls. It should be a pretty interesting matchup and to be honest, I think we could see some good games in this series. And that has led me to make this video where I'll be discussing who I think will win the series. First, I'm going to talk about the Milwaukee Bucks and their side. Then I'm going to talk about the Bulls side. Then at the end of the video, Video, I'm going to come to a conclusion on who I think will win. But before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, if you want to my goal of 3,000 subscribers, also drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments and play that intro. start the video off i'm gonna talk about the bucks and i think it's pretty clear that the bucks are the clear favorites in a series like this as they should because they're the defending champions and they've actually gotten better and in my opinion the bucks are a team that will win this series if they do because of their defense because even though their defensive rating was just average this season we all know that when the bucks are fully healthy and fully trying they're one of the best defenses in the league and honestly i think they match up really well against the chicago bulls Bulls on defense because they have plenty of defenders that throw out the Bulls two star players in DeRozan and Levine. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Wesley Matthews, Pat Connaughton, even Giannis Antetokounmpo are all guys who I think could do a solid job on Levine or DeRozan. The Bucks are also one of the best teams in the league when it comes to switching, which is something that can make life really difficult for DeRozan and Levine, who are guys who like to attack mismatches. Also, the Bucks simply have the best player in the series in Giannis, who is by far better than anyone on the Bulls, and I don't see anyone on the Bulls outplaying Giannis in a, in a seven game series. And for the most part, if you have the best player in the series, you have a really good chance to win. And when you take in that the Bulls don't even have the pieces to even attempt to slow down Giannis, it's not looking really that good because first of all, they have no one who can guard Giannis one on one, and barely any other teams in the league can, but especially the Bulls do not have that guy in the regular season Giannis averaged 26 points in only 32 minutes against the Bulls and you have to realize that in a lot of those games he played really little minutes because it was a blowout and honestly the Bulls will probably put Patrick Williams on Giannis and he simply cannot defend Giannis good enough I think Giannis is going to feast on the Bulls because the Bulls have absolutely and I mean absolutely no rim protection Nikola Vucevic is their quote-unquote rim protector and he's a terrible rim protector Giannis is just going to dominate the paint all day so honestly i expect a really good series out of Giannis. we also have to talk about the milwaukee bucks who are one of the best offenses in the league and they're really hard to guard because they have Giannis, who's always drawing so much attention from your defense then they have a plenty and plenty of shooters which is not ideal because if the bucks have a game where they're not missing threes they're really hard to guard and Giannis is really hard to guard the bulls aren't a great defense especially without alonzo ball so it's not looking good for the bulls when it comes to the defending the Bucks. I think Milwaukee shouldn't have too much trouble scoring on them. Also in a series like this, you have to realize that the Bucks are going to have home court advantage which is definitely significant, especially when you realize the Bulls are below 500 on the road. Also, the Bucks are one of the better teams at home in the league. So I'm being honest, there's not too much the Bucks have to worry about in a series like this. To be clear, the Bulls are clearly the underdogs in a series like this. And to be honest, I think more people would have had faith in them if they hadn't looked so rough to end the year. Because to end the year, they were just losing to every top team in the league. And they were even losing to some trash teams. Their chemistry, just everything looked off. Because if you remember at the beginning of the season, the Bulls were like the number one seed. But now they fell down to the sixth seed. But to be honest, we can't act like the Bulls are not a good team. They have two of the best scorers in the league. A lot of Salalas. Solid, solid role players surrounding them and straight up if the Bulls want to win this series DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine are going to have to play some of the best basketball they have ever played because when you look at the Bucks' best players outside of Giannis 
those guys are really inconsistent in the playoffs. And I'm talking about Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. Those guys don't always show up in the playoffs. They're really inconsistent. If DeRozan and Levine can have a series where they both average 27, 28 points, that will definitely increase the chances of the Bulls winning. The Bulls finished as a pretty bad defense, but we all know when this team is fully healthy, they're pretty good on defense. But the problem is that they're not really fully healthy right now. So it's the safe to say that they're still not going to be a great defense. On offense, the Bulls are solid, but they're not as good as the Bucks are. They don't have a crazy amount of three-point shooters. And outside of DeRozan and Levine, no one is a really good shot creator. If the Bulls want to win this series, I think they're going to need Nikola Vucevic to go back to his Orlando Magic days. Just be a flat-out all-star again. Because this has been, been his worst season in the last few years. Not saying he's been absolutely trash, but his role and shot attempts have really dipped. He's going to have to be way more aggressive, especially going against the Bucks, who don't have any great one on one defending big man they're gonna need him to average over 20 points and the double double they want to win the series they're also gonna need kobe white to step up and play like one of the best bench players in the league they're also gonna need patrick williams to step up and play really good at defense on Giannis. at the same time i don't even think patrick williams is taller than 6 8 so it's gonna be really hard for him to guard Giannis one on one but he is strong at least also, the Bulls got to make sure they close out to the Bucks shooters because the Bucks have a lot of them. This is going to be a really tough series for the Bulls, a real challenge. But if they want to win the series, a lot of things are going to have to go in their favor. To give my prediction on who I think will win the series, I'm definitely going to go with the Milwaukee Bucks. They're simply just a way better team than the Bulls. The Bulls are a solid team, and I think they will come back better next season. But the Bucks are just a different level. They're my favorites to make it out of the Eastern Conference, so obviously I'm not, not going like, to bet against them. Also, I didn't even bring this up, but even though DeRozan's having his best season, still hasn't shown he's an amazing playoff performer. As a Raptor fan, I can tell you that countless years I just saw him choke series and be a big reason why our team lost and didn't go as far as we were expected to. So I don't know like if like his improved play means he's gonna be improving in the playoffs. We're gonna have to see. I honestly hope so. He's one of my favorite players, but we can't just sit here and act like DeFrozen is not a real thing. And if DeRozan is not playing as good as he was in the regular season, to be honest, the Bulls have no chance. If the Bulls didn't look so bad to end the year, I would I would say that they could have made this series close. And even if they had Lonzo Ball, I would say they could make this series close. But to be honest, I think the Bucks are going to win this series in five games. I respect the Bulls enough and what they did this regular season to say I think they'll win one game where DeRozan just goes off a bunch and the Bucks have a bad game. But overall, I'm not expecting this Bulls to make the Bulls to make us this series serious and honestly i think the bucks are just gonna surge past them i know some bulls fans are gonna be mad about this but it's just facts when we come back to the end of the series i promise you the bucks will make quick work of the bulls and i'm not a bucks fan at all anyways guys that's it for the video let me know whether or not you think the bucks are gonna win drop a like on this video to help my channel grow subscribe to my channel if you want daily nba content also we're gonna go with 3,000 subscribers also drop a comment on this video i really do respond to all of my comments and play that intro